in today's session of Divorce Court. Tammy and Daryl Walker thought they could beat the odds and make their marriage last forever. Every marriage has financial problems. I don't think that that's grounds for us to get a divorce. I begged him to let me work, and he wouldn't let me work. Because that's what I'm supposed that's to do. That's why he was and working two jobs. if I have to jobs. work two jobs to support my family, that's what I'm supposed to do. But everyday arguments about money and their sex life were more than their love could withstand. We also have intimacy problems. I wasn't pleasing him the way he wanted to be pleased. Now Tammy has brought Daryl to court to end the marriage. Oh, he'd be the one telling me that I was using him, that I wasn't I fulfilling for him. But Daryl doesn't want this divorce. The only reason I came here is because I thought this is what she wanted. You don't want this marriage to end, do you? <sighs> Never do. You still love her? I always will. Now the judge must decide whether or not divorce is the answer for Tammy Walker and Daryl Walker in today's session of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Tammy Walker versus Daryl Walker, and I'm advised that after two years of marriage, Mrs. Walker, you're ready for it to end. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. We have a lot of financial problems. Um, Which everybody has. Well, let the, financial, the financial problems dealt with, um, at times he would take money out of the bank and wouldn't let me know, which resulted in about a few months ago, I ended up being put in jail because of a bounce check. You but were I had arrested? No, yes. Because of a bounce check that your husband had written? I wrote the check. He took the money out and did not inform me. Were you taking money out of the account? I did a really irresponsible thing and I pulled 500 out. So and you pulled all of, the money out? I, there was about 580 something dollars in the bank and I pulled the 500 out. And what was that to prove? I was upset. It didn't prove anything. And I'm admitting that. It didn't prove anything. And you got your wife arrested? That wasn't the intent. Mr. Walker, you're missing the point. If the money is used to pay expenses, you pull all the money out, regardless of when she would write the check, whether it's that particular check or some other check. If you've taken all the money out when she writes the check for expenses, it's not going to be there. Everybody has financial problems. Every, every marriage has financial problems. But every everybody marriage. doesn't I get arrested. I should be held accountable for, for one incident because I pulled money out of the bank that, that would cause us to separate for good. I don't think that that's grounds for us to get a divorce. I quite agree. And you're agree. holding a grudge about that. I that's quite not agree. The only thing so I have a grudge about. So you don't want the divorce? Give him a call. No, I've never wanted the divorce. I agree. I don't think that there, that's grounds for a divorce, in my opinion. But I'm only one person. He's quite right. Everybody has financial problems. But I don't. For some reason, I'm feeling that that is not really the reason for this divorce. What is your feeling? Is is this marriage really over over one bounce check? No, it is not, Your Honor. It's not What's just really that we had, it. we also had intimacy problems. Um, I wasn't pleasing him the way he wanted to be pleased as often. And so. So now so that I makes you, jokes. let her finish. <sighs> so now you're upset, that upsets you. Yeah. Um, I felt that he pushed me in ways I didn't want to be pushed in because he would approach me in ways I had asked him not to, time and time again, which hurt me emotionally. That's and um, what do you mean by that? Like what? <sighs> Past the clinics. <laughs> A lot of couples, I guess, don't mind if their partner is intimate while they're asleep. No. I have a problem with that. Just making it sound I... a hell of a lot. I'm... Let her finish. Um. I have a problem with being messed with when I'm asleep in a sexual form and I wake up to it. I feel dirty and I feel wrong. So something it, happened in your life that when that is what occurs to you, it hurts you emotionally. Exactly. Have you ever expressed that to your husband? Yes, I have, time and again. Did you and it did not stop. And so you would be emotionally upset on numerous occasions? He was totally insensitive to that. I wouldn't say he was totally insensitive. When I talked to him about it, he would act like 
he understood how I felt and he was sorry, but it would still happen over and over again. And you couldn't get past it? No. Did you seek any counseling for that? No. Because most people... I had counseling when I was younger and I thought it was better. And... But obviously there's an issue still there. Yes. That you can't get past. Exactly. What's going on with that, Mr. Walker? Did your wife explain to you that she was having some issues and ask you not to do it in that manner? We, we had talked about it on, on more than one occasion. And, Is there and some reason why you couldn't honor that, her request? It wasn't happening all that frequently, but I mean, and I'm, I made jokes in a way to try. You joked about something I, that hurt her? I, I made jokes in a way to try and cover up the fact that I was legitimately upset about the frequency of, of our intimacy and I felt that it, it might have had something to do with me and not that it had something to do with, with her and the jokes she didn't appreciate. And so it seems to me, and so this is hurting you too, right? You don't want this marriage to end, do you? I never did. You still love her? And I always will. What about you, Ms. Walker? How are you feeling now? I love my husband. I just... I don't feel that... I don't feel he listens to me. And the more he tells me he's going to stop, it never stops. All of it. Money, everything. I mean, it, that is still an issue. No, what, not. the way he it spends the money in finances? Okay, he has... When... I first moved in with my grandparents when we first separated. Um, I had gotten a job, and he currently wasn't working, so he was taking care of the children. These are your children by another relationship, or the children? Two of them are. Two okay. of my children are. Do the two Our of you son have is children between together? us. One. Our son is between us. And then what happened? Um, but I was working, and he wasn't and my daughter was going to school, and he needed money for lunch and stuff, which I had offered to him. And he told me he didn't need it. He was fine. Well, when I went and got my things, I got my apartment, I got my things, I noticed that things were missing. He had told me that he took um, some special money of mine that I had been collecting for my sister. And it was way after the fact that he had told me that he had done it. So he but was taking, was he using this money for the benefit of the children? He took all of it and he used it to feed my daughter at school. And I understand that, but I had offered it to him and he told me no. He told me time and time again, no. So he took something that meant a lot to me in place of it because his pride wouldn't allow him to accept from me. But I'm supposed to accept things from him. And when I asked him about it. And the $51 What did you change? take? Their book bags, a couple of items of their clothing, and fifty-one dollars in change. Okay, now why and again the would you take the fifty-one dollars as opposed to accepting it from her when your wife offered it to you? False granted, pride. No, at, at the time, granted, I wasn't working, but I've been um, attempting to try and get my own business started, um, car audio sales and installations, and that's pretty much where my, the money I've been using to support my kids, uh, on top of the fact that my parents are helping me out, but that's where the money was coming from because I was frequently giving her money. Um, but you're married. That's what you're supposed to of, do for each sometimes other. Sometimes not out of requests. And that's what she said, that I, I had no problem giving her money, but I wouldn't accept any from her, from her. Because I was raised that that's what a man does. A man supports his family. That's what you do. You work. There was a time when I was working two full-time jobs You were working two jobs because you wouldn't household. let me work. But what because I'm saying, that's what I'm supposed to I do. I begged him to let me work, and he wouldn't let me work. Because that's what I'm supposed that's to do. That's why he was and working two jobs. if I have to jobs. work two jobs to support my family, that's what I'm supposed to do. When divorce court returns, will the judge refuse to grant this divorce? The only reason I came here is because I thought this is what she wanted. And later, after the judge's decision, Tammy and Daryl's emotional confrontation. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce court is back in the case of Daryl Walker as he begs his wife Tammy not to go through with their divorce. Here's a man, I mean, I get most of the cases, they won't work at all. <laughs> now, here is a man that's saying, look, I accept full responsibility for my 
family, for my household, not only my son, but your children and you, my wife. And I'll work two jobs if necessary so that you don't have to work. That caused a but divorce. But I wanted to work. That's not the point. I just didn't we see had the a sense lot of fights over him working, and even when he was working two jobs, work. we still weren't she getting was, our bills paid. She was My working, credit's she crap. She was working at, at, uh, before she started, before she was a bar, well, the job she has now, I mean, she doesn't make a lot of money. And if she was working at jobs like that while and had I was to pay working, a we would have had to pay for a daycare. The job right. that I'm working at now is the same exact job he had as a part-time job. But what he's saying is if, you but know, when you got part, two well, children, full -time job. That was you my have two children and job. you're working, and you're not work, making a lot of money, you're really just wasting a lot of energy because all of the money is going to child care. Whereas you could stay at home with the children, be right. there to nurture them, to take so care of them. So that I could them. listen to his family? Making what remarks through what him to me that I was I told using him. The beginning. Well, that I was in the beginning. What do you mean listen to his family? I had My mom constantly here. I said on, Mr. nothing Walker. for him. She didn't have anything to do with our Mr. relationship. Mr. Walker, I hold you. on. Leonard, Leonard That's explain why you that told to me. me about those things, right? What about his family? His mother would remark if you weren't working that you... Oh, he'd be the one telling me that I was using him, that I wasn't I never fulfilling told you for him. Me. Yes, you did. No, I did. Yes, you had this family conflict all from the beginning. So you were more worried about what his family had to say and how they felt about you. Did Mr. Walker say you were using him? Did he feel that and way? If I Did felt he express that? Way, that? I would have walked. I he would have constantly walked. make remarks to me when he was working two jobs. I'm working two jobs to do this. That's why we're not spending any time together. Yet we still weren't paying our bills. That has our bills nothing to do still with weren't you getting using paid. Me. It does. But did he say that you were using him? Did he, did he say that he felt that about, way, or I that wasn't was his mother's time with attitude? You. How am I supposed to spend time with you when I work 16 hours a day? You know, this is this is this is a classic case. How old are you? Twenty-four. And how old are you, if I may 24. ask? Two young people. You're married with great intentions. You have a great attitude about what marriage is all about. First case I've had in a long time. <laughs> and I must say that I am really happy to understand that somebody's got the point. What marriage is really all about. You say, I'm not worried about what my family says. I want to work. I want to take care of you. I want to work two jobs if necessary. You say, I want to work to help you because I don't want to hear from your family. This is a classic case where you're young. All you need is some counseling and direction. Mm -hmm. this, is, this should not be a divorce. We were going Two to people counseling. love each other, crying because you're hurt. We Neither of you really wants a divorce, and that's not the answer. You can work this out. Don't you think so, Ms. Walker? You need some financial counseling, maybe, and you can go to some budgeting classes. Do you really think that you could, you could save this? Or is it just gone? In my opinion, Your Honor, um, throughout the, the five months we've been separated, I have been making attempts to try and work things out. So you admit that you spent the money in a manner, you know, not in the best yeah, way? Yeah, I, I did make some judgment? financial mistakes. And a lot of the mistakes was the fact that I wanted to... I wanted to supply better for you, so I put us in a position where we were living out of our means. And that was one of the biggest mistakes I made. Trying to give her more than what your money would buy? Right. Because like our what? bills weren't getting paid, and because our bills weren't getting paid, in turn, both of our credits got even worse. I had no credit, now I have crap for credit. You have two items and you on know your what? credit you that I'm not holding you responsible for. You have crap for credit, but have you told... Is this a bad man? Is this a bad person? I didn't say that's he was a bad person. Feel. I'm that's how she that's, makes that, me No, feel. but that's what I'm trying... I'm just asking. I'm not saying, but your credit is bad. Credit can be salvaged. It's my we, feelings we emotional, remedies. too. He's, you know, if he can't... Uh... And when I do try is when she pushes me what away and tells me I'm emotionally? being pushy. What are you talking about emotionally? You don't think that... I mean, you talk to me about one part of your life that's causing some difficulty. But again, there should be, I mean, counseling should be able to help both of you through that. If you're willing to do it, I mean, is it all lost? We were going to totally counseling. Totally emotionally bankrupt? We were bankrupt? going to counseling. Are you emotionally bankrupt? You don't think that you can do that? It sounds like to me that the, your argument, Joe, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't understand. I see two beautiful people standing before me. I see two people who love each other. I see two people who are hurting as we talk about the situation. Both of you crying. Both of you sad. It seemed to me like what, you, what you're discussing with me, two years of marriage is nothing but typical issues in the first two or three years of marriage. 
It's working things out. It's getting to know each other. It's getting to understand finances. You're young. You're 24 years old. You probably haven't had this responsibility before of having to take care of yourself, budget, etc. What do you think about that? Can you do that? Can we put this over, not end this, not cause a divorce today, not settle anything, not divide anything, and send you to counseling for about another three, four, five, six months and come back? Like I said, we were trying um, counseling. I have no problem with, like I said, I was, I was trying to work things out. You still willing to work you, things out? I, I've always been willing to work things out. The what? only reason I came here is because I thought this is what she wanted. What about you, Ms. Walker? It's not what you want, is it? Is it? Oh. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict, and Tammy and Daryl have an emotional confrontation. Plus, an update on the case of Ora Hendricks versus James Hendricks. This man, who's supposed to be my husband, supposed to be there and love me, said I'm half a woman, Your Honor. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back in the case of Daryl Walker, who says he's still in love with his wife, Tammy, and would do anything to give the marriage another chance. Okay, what if we postpone this divorce? What if we send you to counseling? And if in the next, what, how many more months do you want me to give it to you? Six months? Want to try it? You willing to try it? Ms. Walker? Yes. Okay, let's do this. Let's postpone it. Give you six months. Give you six months maximum. Go to counseling. Get you some budgeting classes, finances. If you need some referral sources, we can provide that for you. All right? Get you a good minister. Is anybody getting any spiritual guidance here? That's like a whole <laughs> marriage thing. All right, let's talk about even... that. <laughs> Do that. If you still want a divorce, because I, I believe that this can be resolved. All right? This is not a marriage that should end. It's only been two years. You have time. It can be saved. All right? Court's adjourned. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Ora Hendricks versus James Hendricks. I just want him so I can get in therapy so I can start to heal because I can't take this no more. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Ora Hendricks said that she had a hysterectomy at age 25 and her husband James refused to touch her anymore. This man, who's supposed to be my husband, supposed to be there and love me, said I'm half a woman, Your Honor. I'd reach out to touch him. He'd tell me don't touch him, that I was disgusting. I'm beautiful. Can you say that? No, ma'am, because I don't feel it. Aura brought James to court to get him to pay for her counseling to begin her emotional healing. That's all I want from this man. I just want him so I can get in therapy, so I can start to heal, because I can't take this no more. The judge ordered him to pay for half of her therapy sessions. Aura now has custody of the children, but they have agreed on a visitation schedule. However, Aura says James has not kept his promise to visit the children on the weekends. She plans to begin her therapy soon and to get a degree in business. James now spends his time caring for his elderly father, but plans on having a career in advertising and promotions. I feel that I want him to listen to me more than telling me how he thinks I feel. Definitely. Wasn't the decision I was kind of expecting. I, <laughs> I'm kind of happy about it because I, I do want to work things up. I believe in my vows that I took. I, I believe that I just don't know if it's gonna work, but I wanna try my vows. Cause I believed in him when I said them. If he doesn't keep pushing me so fast, so hard. Yes, I do feel that we can work on it. But he can't rush me. I 
love you too.